Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about something which is very new for my channel. It's not something we've ever discussed and we've ever even talked about. Today I want to talk to you about my derma roller, which I have been using, okay, for a fair amount of time and I'm ready to talk to you about it and it's all honest, okay, it didn't start particularly great so stay tuned for that. But let's start by having a look at why you would want to use a derma roller and what is a derma roller. So as you can see, so this is the case in here. So mine is not super expensive at all. I actually bought this in April of this year, used it once or twice. I'll be honest, absolutely hated it. Absolutely hated it, put it away in my drawer and probably didn't look at it for a couple of months. And I've been using this on and off I want to say for a couple of months but not very often and we're going to get into that okay so I've not been using this very often I've not used it lots you do not need to use it lots okay it's not an everyday thing it's a weekly fortnight thing in my mind there is lots of hype out there that you can use this twice twice a week uh, some people use it more um, certainly not for me okay we're going to get into all of that but it is really good it's another measure to go in that sort of go-to box of tricks for helping you achieve thicker healthier hair growth so we're going to talk about this today so i purchased this back in april and i have been doing some research on how i could invigorate my hair growth and making my hair growth uh, come through a bit more thicker and just hold on to the hair I have, particularly in my hairline. Uh, a lot of my subscribers will know that I have a lot of, uh, of problems in a stress related area behind here. So one day I can have the hair and I can be really content with my hair and then the next it can just absolutely fall out catastrophically in this sort of area here. It seems to always be in relation to sort of health, sometimes medications if I've had an operation because I've had a fair few in the last couple of years. Um, it's in the last couple of years and around the last six and seven. So I've been able to sort of categorize when it kind of happens. But predominantly, it is stress. So when I get stressed, okay, this part of my hair really seems to drastically change. And of course, I'm 31. So I am looking for anything which can help keep my hair on my head, which can help improve my scalp environment, which can improve that hair anchorage to the scalp and hopefully stop and slow down the process of hair falling and just helping achieve a thicker all round healthier uh, scalp environment, healthy hair growth cycle. So on my channel, we review everything hair, particularly with a huge interest around fine hair, thinning hair for men and women. So this is something which a man or a woman can use. This one, which I purchased, as I say, it's not super expensive. I bought mine from Amazon and it's actually a hair and a beard growth one. So you can use this if you really struggle to grow uh, sort of thicker um, facial, hair, facial hair or anything like that at all, um, then this can be used for that. Mine is the red blooded um, derma roller. And I think I only paid around 10 pounds for this, 10 or 15 pounds. Now, as I say, I purchased it in April. I want to say April. I had a quick look on Amazon before we started this. My memory serves me correct. April. Um, and I used it, okay, probably straight off, um, probably far too hard. I used too much pressure. So let's first of all talk about how you actually use this. So derma roller, so as you can see, it's a little roller, metal roller on the end here, and it's got little, little sort of very small minute needles, which is around 0.5 mil on there. So it's really small. And if you look at it, you can, I know you can barely see it on the camera here. I'm not particularly great at lighting, but hopefully you can just see that there is a very small sort of uh, needle, um, lots of different needles on here as well. So as you can see, and it's on a roller here as well. So before you use it, always use a very high percentage, as high as you can, um, alcohol-based cleaner, um, as um, it can be like, you know, one of those dental spray cleaners with a high percentage of alcohol, something which is really gonna keep all the, the germs and bugs away from this. It is a needle, it does go into the scalp. You really do need to pay attention to the cleansiness of these when you're using them before you use them and after you use them. Vitally, vitally important. You do not want to be bringing any infection into your scalp. You do not want to be making any skin sort of irritated or inflamed. Um, so just be really, really careful. For myself, I always use like a very high alcohol solution. Um, and what I do, if I haven't got it in a spray version or if I've just got the alcohol solution, then I will literally just rest it into sort of like a small bowl or a small Tupperware container. And I will just literally uh, cover it with alcohol on the sort of side like this, just so it's covered. I'll leave it there for a good five, 10 minutes, I'll rinse it off with really hot water afterwards and just shake it out dry and then I put it away in the container. I do that before and afterwards. So that's pretty much how I would use it. How uh, how I would 
prep it and clean it. Um, what do you do when you use it? So when you use it, take it in an area, okay, where you are seeing your areas of sort of concerning hair fault or where you would want that extra stimulation or to improve the environment or the scalp environment or hair growth. And literally against your scalp, okay, use a little bit of light pressure. Now I do not mean pressing it into your scalp because that will not give you any better effect from this at all. And that was the one mistake I made when I first started using this. I thought if I pressed quite firm, I would stimulate the scalp more. No, what you actually do is you just damage your scalp. It bleeds, it gets sore, it's uncomfortable. Okay, so do not do that at all because this shouldn't hurt. It should tingle and you should feel it stimulate your scalp, but it should not be painful. It should not be uncomfortable. Now this is a 0.5 mil um, length of needle on here. And you can see there's lots of different needles on here as well but all of course at 0.5. You can get a greater length of needle on here, but for hair growth, I believe the recommendation is 0.5. You can do more. This is enough for me, because I'll be quite honest, my scalp is quite sensitive to this. So I only actually use this either once a week on a Sunday evening or once a fortnight. Now, a lot of people think, well, what's that gonna do? You would be surprised, okay? Because it's really difficult to pick it up on a camera. But what I have noticed is when I have used it, and I've been, because I bought this back in April, um, as I say, used it, pressed too hard on it. It was horrendous. It made my scalp bleed in my hairline. Um, then I left it for a good while. And I think I started this again in the summer. So I want to say maybe mid-June, maybe a little bit before that. And we're now the 20th of August today. Um, and I don't use it very often. I don't use it very often. Perhaps it was about the start of June, maybe slightly earlier than that. Forgive me, I should write these things down. But literally every other week or if not every other week and I feel my scalp and I feel no, then I will go the fortnight for it. But I have been using it for that and I will absolutely just 100% say that the areas of which I've used it, which is always in my temple areas and in my hairline and probably down through the part every now and again, not every time in the parting, but my hair growth feels more thicker. I haven't seen new growth, but I've seen more, you know, like the, the tiny villus hairs, like the very fine kind of minute hairs, which you see like almost like regeneration of hair. Those are much more pronounced. My hair is much more uh, actual thicker in places in my hairline. Um, and it just gives me that overall much more fuller hairline, a little bit more denser of a hairline as well. So I've noticed results and only actually either every week or every fortnight I've done this. So how you apply it, so literally with a little bit of pressure, um, all sort of ways as I'm trying to describe here, um, so sort of all ways on the scalp, so literally just very, very carefully, don't go erratic at it at all, you don't need to. But for example, on your scalp, and literally just slowly in all different directions, just literally covering that area. So what that is then going to do is just make fine sort of, how to put this without causing kind of alarm, I don't want to alarm anybody. It's not puncturing the scalp, but it's creating microscopic pricks to the scalp, okay, from those needles, stimulation, okay, and it's stimulating, um, stimulating that area in terms of cell formation, in terms of excelling uh, blood flow, uh, collagen, all of those great things which you want present in the scalp environment. So that stimulation through the derma roller is bringing all of that to the surface. You're energizing the scalp. You're bringing blood flow with the blood flow courses. All the nutrients in your blood is going to your scalp environment. So you're ultimately getting that boost of revitalization and energy into the scalp. Now it does take some time to see results. Okay. But you may think, well, why can't I use it every day? Some people use it several times a week. Myself, I've got a very sensitive scalp in terms of using this. So once is by far enough because your scalp does go red. It doesn't bleed and it shouldn't bleed. It goes slightly red. You know you've used something. Um, you can tell that it's agitated the scalp, but it shouldn't give you any sort of reaction. You're agitating the scalp to, call, to in essence, support better blood flow growth, uh, growth of hair, sorry, um, you're excelling blood flow, you're really getting that cell turnover going. So almost excelling the natural process there. So if you've got a bit of finer hair in the temples and area of your hair, which you'll see is slightly thinning, then this would be really great to try, but just be really, really careful. Don't use overall pressure. And I would say from, I, I can't think off the top of my head how long I've been using this, but I think it's from about early June, mid June maybe, and every week, every fortnight. So not loads have been using this and I've seen results where my hair looks more pronounced. 
I've not seen regrowth, okay, but I've seen my hair healthier, thicker, and slightly denser, okay. So, I mean, in, in sort of months to come, I might see far more better enhanced results. Myself, I'm not 100% sure on it, I will be honest. Um, and it's so, there are so conflicting sort of things about it online. Some people have used this for a couple of months and apparently they've grown sort of copious amounts of hair back through. I'm not quite sure on that. I like the idea that you're that you're stimulating the scalp through that kind of physical element of almost creating microscopic punches to the scalp. You're excelling blood flow, you're getting that blood flow pumping, you're enhancing that cell formation, you're enhancing hair growth because everything's getting stimulated. So it's great from that fact. Do I think it's a cure for hair loss? No. Do I think that it's a key or a go-to measure to be able to support healthier, thicker hair? Yes, I do. So I do think that this will absolutely help in terms of making the hair thicker, what you already have. If you were starting from a complete sort of bald scalp, um, then I'm not so sure. There's things online where people have grown sort of incredible miracles of hair back through, and I'm not sure I believe that. One thing which I do find is really, really great for this, if you've used this, okay, then I don't necessarily recommend that you use your serums or your rosemary oil mixed with your carrier oil or anything like that straight away. I think give your scalp a rest one night because you can go all over your scalp. Don't apply pressure, go all over your scalp. I just choose to dip my hairline down through the parting, okay, and then actually leave your scalp rest for one night, then your following night, put your, your sort of oils, your serums, your growth serums, whatever you choose to use, your caffeine formulations, anything like that at all, then apply it. And I have read that it gives a much more better kind of absorption into the scalp, into the hair roots, um, and you get better results from your products that way. I do believe that. I think that's really, really great because I what I tend to do is use this. Usually it, usually it falls on a Sunday evening when I'm getting things ready for work. Then later on in the evening when I'm getting ready sort of for the night, um, and I sort everything out, what, what you do in the bathroom, and um, and then when I use this, and then I kind of leave it, and then on the Monday evening, um, or, if I'm, or if I'm busy, then on the Tuesday evening or something like that, then I apply sort of maybe some of the, the serums which I use, maybe rosemary oil with a carrier oil. Um, sometimes I use sort of, if I'm using uh, sort of like my, my cereal, um, cereal, my cerioxyl um, denser, so, uh, I can't think of it now, Cerioxyl Denser Solution. I absolutely love that. That would work really, really great with this. Um, another one which I really quite like to use as well is the Evarte Scalp Revitalizer Spray. Would be great. I quite often do that after using the uh, Derma Roller as well. And um, whatever works for you. But please, please, please take it from me. My scalp is really, really sensitive to this. So, I don't use this even every week. Sometimes if I can't use this on a, I've used it for a week and then I go to fill my scalp a couple of days later, you can feel that you've used it. It shouldn't be uncomfortable, it shouldn't be painful, but I do find that I get quite sensitive to this. So it might be something you can use, it might be something you can't use. And then when I say after, give your scalp a break, really, really important. Don't then just go have a really strong, potent sort of formulation for hair loss or hair thinning or anything like that at all. I do know a lot of people online use minoxidil with this and they say it's a better kind of absorption into the scalp. I can't comment on that. And for me, I would probably say it seems to be quite sensitive for me when I use this. So I probably wouldn't be able to use something like that on my scalp. But there again, I haven't used it, so I can't comment. That's only me making an assumption. Um, but just be really, really careful with that because when I first used it, I applied far too much pressure. And I thought, oh my God, this is absolutely horrendous. How can somebody use this? It was making my scalp bleed. Then the following morning, or I applied too much pressure, it was so uncomfortable and it almost left me with like a slight bruise pattern. So just do not use excessive pressure on this at all. And just try it once lightly. And if you think you've got to apply a little bit more pressure, then absolutely great. How much do you need to use it? I would say literally in every kind of angle, so kind of up, down, sideways, side to side, all of those type of actions, just so you'll get a good cover on the scalp. Okay, about four or five probably times, no more than, I would say no more than about two minutes you need to be doing it for. Don't overdo it because I do find that if you overdo it, then your scalp gets really quite sensitive to it. And I do find with something like this, if you do it loads, 
you're not going to get any more benefit out of it than what you are doing it, like for example, once a week. Okay, some people do it twice a week, but all depends on you as an individual and your scalp, because I wouldn't be able to do it twice a week, I'll be honest there. It would be on that Sunday, throughout a week, okay, once a week, and I have found a couple of times that I thought, no, it's too much, so then I'll leave it another week, and then I'll go in and do it, because you've got to give your scalp time to re cover kind of repair and it's in that recovery and that repair that you will then start to see the benefits of better hair anchorage thicker hair those tiny villous hairs become more pronounced and you start to see that more slightly densifying effect it takes time but it is something to really really try okay so on that note i hope you've enjoyed this clip something different for my channel absolutely um it is something i would recommend with caution and i appreciate that not everybody like my dad changed the doorbell <laughs> it's memory, by the way, if you've not quite heard it through our camera. Um, but I would absolutely recommend it, but just with caution. So on that note, if you do have any questions or queries at all for me, please leave them down below and I'll do my utmost best to get back to you as quickly as I can. Okay, thank you very much. I've really enjoyed this one. I hope you have too. And I look forward to seeing you real soon. Bye for now.